Hi guys, so if there is one thing that all gamers can agree on, regardless of the platform, it is that they want cross-platform play to become an eventual reality. We all want to see a world in which PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and at times Nintendo players are able to play games in a shared online universe together. The idea of cross-platform play was once again brought up at E3 this year when it was revealed that Minecraft and Rocket League would be made cross-platform compatible, meaning that players on PC, Xbox One, the Nintendo Switch, and mobile would now be able to play with each other on a shared server. There is one very notable name missing from this list, PlayStation. Yes, once again, the only hardware developer that will not allow cross-platform features with their consoles and network is Sony. This notion had me asking two questions. Firstly, why did Sony say no to cross-platform play on Minecraft and Rocket League? Then secondly, what would Sony have to gain by not allowing cross-platform play with Xbox in particular? So let's start with the first question. Why did Sony say no to cross-platform play? Well, PlayStation Global Sales and Marketing Head Jim Ryan provided Eurogamer with an interview in this last week, which the decision to bar cross-platform play for Minecraft and Rocket League was discussed. A lot of the news articles and videos that I've seen covering the topic seem to have zoned in on the very odd explanation that Ryan gave for Sony not allowing cross-platform play. The explanation suggested that the reason that Sony has been hesitant to say yes to the feature is that the company has the responsibility to protect its consumers from exposing consumers to external influences that will be outside the realm of control of the rules and forces governing the PlayStation Network. Ryan made particular reference to the fact that Minecraft is a game that is exceedingly popular with children, and thus it was imperative to ensure that they were not exposed to inappropriate content. Obviously, a lot of people thought this was a rather ridiculous explanation. If Nintendo, the hardware developer that is most associated with creating consoles aimed at younger audiences, is capable of agreeing to such a deal, what is preventing Sony? Ryan's statement was probably made with Minecraft in mind, which coincidentally is probably the only known game that Sony may have a legitimate reason to say no to including cross-platform play features. It is important to know that in order to make use of Minecraft's cross-platform play features, one will need to log into Microsoft's Xbox Live service. This means that even if you're not playing on an Xbox One or Windows PC for that matter, you will need to log into a service run by Microsoft. In this particular instance, the ideas that Ryan suggested of the environment not being in the realm of control of the PlayStation Network is rather legitimate. In this particular instance, regardless of whether the reason for not allowing cross-platform play is to protect the innocent children or underlined by some financial interest, I'd say that perhaps it's fair for a company to say no to a feature with regards to that particular game if it attempts to draw users away from your own product to that of your biggest competitor. However, although this may give a reason as to why Sony said no to including cross-platform play features on Minecraft, it doesn't really give an explanation for why they didn't do it with Rocket League or the Gwent Beta. So this brings us to our second major question. What would Sony have to gain by not allowing cross-platform play with Xbox users? I wouldn't exactly say that the notion of cross-platform play is exactly new, but over the past year or so, quite a bit of focus has been placed on cross-platform play. Last year, Rocket League developer Psyonix announced that they were ready to allow cross-platform play on the title, but were facing some hesitation from Sony. A couple of months later, CD Projekt Red reported a similar situation in trying to get the permission to make Gwent, the Witcher card game, a cross-platform play title. The weird thing about these two cases and many others is that Sony is already allowing cross-platform play for certain titles, at least between PC and PS3 and PS4 players. This is why it is so weird that they will not allow PS4 and Xbox One players to mix. The comments made by Psyonix and CD Projekt Red last year actually did prompt me to have a look at and write about what Sony would have to gain by not allowing cross-platform play with Xbox One players. 
In previously pondering this idea, the only real explanation I could find is that allowing cross-platform play would take away from that need to purchase the same console as one's friends, as with the feature anyone would be able to play with anyone on any platform. It's not ridiculous to suggest that multiplayer has become a very big aspect of modern gaming. There is an argument to be made that it is currently the most popular aspect of gaming overall. By creating divisions in a community based on a piece of hardware, it basically ensures that certain factors will be created that will make a consumer more likely to buy a certain brand of hardware. Despite all the console war rhetoric out there, there are probably many gamers who don't really care about the differences between the Xbox One and PS4 because they perhaps only play a few multi-platform multiplayer titles. If you're one of those gamers, chances are you're more likely to base which console you buy on which console one of your friends bought because you want to play a game with them. And you know, perhaps this is an aspect that Sony is focusing on by not allowing cross-platform play as they feel that it may impact the sales of the PS4. In researching this piece, another argument I saw suggested quite often by some was that Xbox Live provides a better and more stable online experience. And while I haven't really seen any noticeable differences between online play on the Xbox One and PS4 myself, maybe Sony does feel as if Microsoft provides a better online experience and that the deficiencies in their services will be highlighted if they do allow cross-platform play. I don't really know how online systems work so I don't know if this would be possible but it is interesting to see that some gamers are suggesting this fact. Another argument that I came across that was quite popular and I was only made aware of quite recently is that somebody that Sony doesn't really want to allow cross-platform play because it could result in weakening the security of the PlayStation Network making it vulnerable to an outside attack. Personally, I actually thought that this explanation made quite a bit of sense. If one remembers, there was an attack on the PlayStation Network in 2011, and it resulted in the information of 77 million users being stolen. And obviously, Sony wouldn't really like a repeat of the situation. I do think a lot of people would be very angry if Sony also came out and provided this explanation as, you know, you're putting your information in there under the guise that you think it's going to be safe, it's going to be protected. So if they come out and say, hey, we don't want to share our network because we don't think it's so safe, you obviously aren't going to be very happy about it. Although I do think that the last argument would be in some way logical, I don't think that it's very valid as well as the second argument, because Sony's already allowing cross-platform play with PC players. Firstly, if they were afraid of network attacks, they wouldn't be allowing cross-platform play with PC players. And then secondly, personally, I haven't really noticed any difference between playing certain players. There hasn't been a decline in playing certain players in the games that are cross-platform compatible, such as Gwent and Rocket League. You know, in Jim Ryan's first part of the answer to the question that was posed to him, he did focus a little bit on the fact that stakeholders would need to provide permission in order to allow cross-platform play with Xbox users. So, you know, even though it is a boring explanation or one that you don't really want to hear, maybe it is truly the only hiccup between cross-platform play on the PS4 and Xbox One that there is. Perhaps it is the stakeholders in the business that are a little bit more worried about their money by allowing such a feature than anything else. Who knows? Although we can speculate as to why Sony may not allow cross-platform play at this moment, we probably will never know the answer as to why they don't want to allow it at this point. All we can do is hope that this is a situation that is soon to change. I do want to know though, why do you think that Sony won't allow cross-platform play with Xbox users? Please share in the comments down below and if you like this video please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.